the question is once again that uh, what should we do in order to keep up the Quran and Majid so that we don't forget the Quran and Majid. So in answering this, there's something that Allah Ta'ala put to mind that uh, what is our relationship with the Quran and Majid? See, this relationship which we're talking of now, that not forgetting the Qur'an and Majid, is one of fear. If I don't recite the Qur'an and Majid, then I will forget the Qur'an and Majid. So, the relationship with Qur'an and Majid is one of fear that if I don't read it, I'll forget it. That is, okay, it's a correct thing, it's one also of concern that we should have that type of concern for the Qur'an and Majid. But however, the other way is this, one is you say, if you don't eat, then you will get sick. And the other, you say, you're eating because you're enjoying the food and you'll enjoy happiness. So change our perspective to the Qur'an and Majid. Why well, have that relationship with the Qur'an and Majid, one of fear? Let it be one of happiness. That I recite the Qur'an and Majid, as my, my Ustaz, Dr. Rahman Sahamiya, Rahimullah Ta'ala, would mention, that when you're reciting the Qur'an and Majid, the niyat, the niyat that through the recitation of the Qur'an and Majid, you're getting the muhabbat of Allah Ta'ala. You're getting the qurb of Allah Ta'ala. You're getting the closeness of Allah Ta'ala. muhabbat ilahi You're getting the muhabbat of Allah Ta'ala. So these few niyats you make. So, and what's happening is that which was in fear suddenly is becoming like happiness. When you're reciting the Qur'an and Majid. Now you recite, listen, I'm recite, that is why Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal rahmatullah alayhi. This is Imam Ghazali Rahmatullahi has mentioned this incident about Hazrat Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal Rahmatullahi. So this I think it's uh, known to all of us. This Hazrat uh, Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal Rahmatullahi Ta'ala was one amongst those fortunate ones that used to have the vision of Allah Ta'ala in whichever form it was. So on one occasion when he had this vision, he asked Allah Ta'ala, Ya Allah, how, if amongst those things which a person uses to get your proximity and closeness, what is the thing that is most uh, you know, effective? So he was replied, he said, the tilawat al-Qur'an. That with the tilawat of the Qur'an in Majid. And then, that Imam Ahmad bin Hamal asked Allah Ta'ala, that be fahmin or be ghayri fahmin. Is it with understanding or without understanding? So he was told, be fahmin or be ghayri fahmin. That whether a person understands the Qur'an and Majid or he doesn't understand the Qur'an and Majid, he will, uh, he will get my, my qurb and my closeness. So now the whole perspective here has changed from one of fear to one of, uh, to, to one of happiness and getting the closeness and the qurb of Allah Ta'ala. So one is that, that if we establish that we need to recite the Qur'an and Majid, Okay, at the back of our mind we can have so that I don't forget the Qur'an and Majid. But in front of us what we need is that whilst I'm making tilawat of the Qur'an and Majid, it's ham kalami, it is, you're making tilawat of the kalam of Allah Ta'ala. You're getting the closeness of Allah Ta'ala. You're getting the qurb of Allah Ta'ala. You're getting the marifat of Allah Ta'ala. You're getting thawab on every letter that you are reciting. That is why uh, some huffaz, alhamdulillah, they <coughs> uh, express this uh, concern, the same concern. And uh, some of them had virtually like, forgotten the Qur'an and Majid. So, <coughs> when uh, this was mentioned, so it was told to them, that, okay, see, take this fear that you have, take it out of your mind, that to keep the, the heart in a state of openness and expansion. When there is a type of fear, there is that contraction. And when there is happiness and when there is expansion, then you can do more.